Hello everybody. Welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to try something I have never tried before. This is inspired by Fiona Art on YouTube. I believe she calls this a reverse dip. And what I've done, I've taped a piece of plastic shopping bag down on my table and I've measured it out 10 by 10 and I put a layer of black paint on here. I've also got a 10 by 10 canvas here out of the picture and I've already put a base coat of black on that. I also sprayed some blaster, if you can see the label, blaster silicone. I sprayed that on here so that we could get some cells, hopefully. <laughs> Like I said, I've never tried this. I have my colors that I'm gonna be using here. I'm gonna to try to draw like some kind of flower design. Then I will be dipping the canvas into it and pressing and supposed to get a reverse dip. So I don't know, I've never done this before. So we're gonna find out just how well I can do this. <laughs> I have my colors here. I will list these in the video description. They do not have any kind of treadmill lubricant which I usually put in my paints to get cells. My bottle paints I don't keep them with any silicone in them. It's more versatile for me. If I want silicone I add it in. I put them in cups and then I add it in. So hmm, I don't even know where to start. Okay I'm just gonna start making some kind of lines in the shape of a flower. I'm really not too good at drawing flowers. Hopefully my lack of talent here won't interfere with us getting something really pretty. When Fiona does hers on her videos, she actually has them mixed in cups and spoons them out. I didn't do that because, to be honest with you, I was too lazy. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's true. I'm actually, this is a late night pour for me and I gotta get up to go to work in the morning. So I, I just didn't wanna do it. I'll admit it, I was being lazy. I have no idea how this is gonna look, but I'm hoping for some beauty here. Got some bright colors here. So yeah, that looks pretty sloppy, but hopefully something pretty will come from this. So I've got my 10 by 10 canvas and I have the paint already on it. So I'm gonna put it upside down on here and press. I have uh, my giant push pins on the back. I figured that would help me lift this off the table. So I'm making sure I press. I'm really hoping for some beauty here. I'm just using this little child's sand shovel to press down. Okay, let's lift this up and see what we got. Well, <laughs> it's not a flower. However, it's still pretty. I'm still liking that. We have some cells coming up. I wonder if I put a little bit more paint in here and dip it again. Should I do that or should I leave well enough alone? Well, I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm actually liking that. I really like the design that's on the table. So what I'm gonna do is move this and then torch my canvas. I really, really love those colors. I think next time I will have less of the black paint on the canvas because I feel like there was so much of it, it just overtook the design. It flooded over it. Torch this. I do see more cells coming up. Okay, I am not unhappy with this for my first time. I'm sure, it's going to change a lot as it's 
drying. Maybe some more cells will even come up. But I'd like for you to, guys to stay tuned for some close-ups. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. Thumbs up on the video would be appreciated as well. I'll see you next time. Bye.